but the idea of somebody, not you, sharing in a video about the dangers of premature sexualization and then going to the primary school and collecting your nine-year-old daughter and, and consummate your marriage at home, while at the time of Muhammad, yes, there were examples all around the world of that happening, is that the best we can do for that nine-year-old? And yeah. as a Christian, I don't believe it is. In there, yeah. but even arguments say if you go to with a 12 year old, yeah, that's yeah. not problem. 12. But 100% at the age of seven, they're betrothed. Now, being betrothed does not sure. mean consummation. Yes, okay, great, great, so, great. Now, my stance is very clear the Prophet, peace be upon him, married Aisha at six. We have no problem with that. Let me tell you why. Okay. The Prophet, peace be upon him, married in Islam, marriage doesn't mean consummation. Yep. So, when we think about marriage, we're thinking somebody goes, and in today's time, sex happens before marriage. We live at times today, the Christian values. Uh, this is against Christian values, by the way. They have sex before marriage, right? Christian values? Yeah, sex then before marriage? No, they're not. They're unchristian values. No, no, no. no. This is against Christian values. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. So, so, so we're singing from the same exactly. page. We agree. Exactly. And also we agree that historically yeah. the betrothal didn't say, didn't mean they would, they would have a sexual relationship. That meant that they were joined together Good. for future matrimony. We get it. So, we so get now, it. Get we're, it. We're, going, we're heading in the right direction. Right. Yeah? Okay. That's what I love See how long we can keep this. No, no. Yeah, that's why I love speaking to you because you're not, you're not hostile and you're asking genuine questions. We're trying to get to the truth exactly. and let God open exactly. the minds of the people to exactly. accept whatever yes. happens. And if they okay. reject, that's up to them, yeah? Okay. So now, the, 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 the point I'm trying to make is this. The Prophet, peace be upon him, married Aisha at six and he consummated the marriage at nine. Now, the question that needs to be asked is this, yeah? Okay? The question I ask is this, yeah? So as you can please, see, please. and we can see, and that's what Allah tells us in the Quran, the people of the book are not the same. I can't look at him and look at this guy. No, 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 let's stick with stick with that. 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 No, don't don't build me up because I'm no 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 don't don't please please. I've never seen hostility from you. I've never seen you being insulting me. I've never seen you insulting my prophet. I have to be real. No, go on, go on. No, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so yours yours let's just get get these right. So betrothed at six, consummated at nine. Yes, good. Hold on to that. Now listen carefully, guys, yeah, because this is the reason why this is the reason why David Wood hated the fact this answer destroyed because he can't use the age of marriage in actually. Yeah? Yeah. Check this out. Now, at six is marriage, at age of nine is consummation. The question that we all need to ask is the following. Yeah. Why would the prophet wait three years? Now, this is the thing about it. He could have come and say, I'm the prophet of God. God has ordained me to marry at six and consummate at six. But he waited three years. Why would he wait three years? Now, the question is, now, yeah. Brothers, 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 brothers. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. speak over here. Yeah? Just speak later, please. Thank you. So yeah. the question is this, yeah? For him? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah. prophet peace be upon him. The fact that he waited three years, we learn a lesson from that today. So when you come and say to me, Ali, hold on a second. Why don't you marry someone at six? I'm like, let me tell you why. Because the prophet peace be upon him is an example for all times. Because not all Christians come and say, oh, but your prophet is an example for all times. I never said he's an example just that time. What do I take and learn from that? I learn from that the following. I have a son. My son is 16 years old and he says, Dad, I want to marry a girl. And I say, how old is she? She's 12. Okay, let's see what the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us. He taught us that when he married Aisha at six, he waited for her to become an adult at nine. 1400 years ago. Mm. So yeah, this is this is uh, fair, yeah. this is where I this is yeah. Let's, let's, to be honest with you, Ali. Let me finish my point. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, finish it. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Yeah. So now, so now, yeah. uh, uh, I'm gonna finish okay. my point. Yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So now the question is this. Yeah. Right. Okay. If I learn from that is the following. My, I will say to my son, my son, we learn from the Prophet peace be upon him that you cannot marry until she becomes an adult. Now, adult to what country? Go to France. What's the age limit? None. Zero. In UK 16. Look at check this out. In Turkey, it's 18. Yeah. Turkey is a Muslim You can say it's a Muslim country. Saudi Arabia is, is 18. Yeah? The question is this. According to us, UK, we have to look at France and be like, these guys are pedophiles. And uh, we uh, the Turkey and Saudi Arabia look at us and say these guys are pedophiles. We say 18, they say 16. The question is this. We have to wait from the Prophet's uh, example and tradition for a woman to reach the age of uh, adulthood. And that's when consummation happens. Because otherwise, otherwise, what happens is it's a harm factor. So when I said, when we did the video about the whole yeah, kid about sure, thing, sure. I'm not contradicting myself no. because I'm consistent and I'm saying that any girl in this country, if a girl is 16 years old, maybe she's not ready for sex. But the law says she is, but maybe she is not physically not ready. So okay. this is where Islam comes and says, not one shoe fits all, 
each individual girl differs. So you can't come and say, oh, you're 16, now let's have sex. Because the UK has a pandemic of teenage oh. pregnancies who are having sex behind the bushes at the age of 11, 12 and 13. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, we know what? I appreciate the things that Ali has said. So you released it. And, uh, and um, right, we all understand that if we go back a thousand years, that there wasn't any such thing as birth as, as uh, birth records. You couldn't trace somebody's age. So it seemed that many primitive peoples, including the primitive people of the West, they would have seen menstruation as the time when a woman is available for, for sex. But we, we as Christians, we're trying to examine best practice. Men have been given governance over women by God. It seems historically just because the way we're built. Sure no, no, no. It seems, no, no. So it, it seems that it's men who decide the age of consent, not women. And we as Christians, I mean, you, you, you would say that you have progressive revelation. We, we feel as Christians that we've got to follow the best practice for those that we have power over. And I have five daughters and I've seen them all grow up from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, when you said to me that I think you were giving an example how, no, no, of, of Muhammad showing restraint in waiting from six to nine, inside of me, I felt really bad and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why because I've seen five of my daughters pass through to the age of nine now let's say at the time of Muhammad he would have been doing nothing out of the norm this would have been normal practice but when we look at it in today today and and we have the the evidence of the maturity of a girl mentally at the age of nine to engage in sexual activity compared to waiting three years, four years. If we were to ask the girl of nine, or if we were to look, I suppose if we, if we do an analogy, let's say there's a man who's collecting his daughter from primary, his wife from primary school. I just want us to just focus on that. Would we think that that child in primary school who let's say let's say you've married a nine-year-old let's let's just just make it personal because okay. that, that no, no, no. might reach yeah, your heart because yeah, yeah. I, I believe that you want to have an integral understanding of things and you also you, you have a conscience and you want to do the right thing I can feel that from you but the idea of somebody not you sharing in a video about the dangers of premature sexualization and then going to the primary school and collecting your nine-year-old daughter and and consummate your marriage at home while at the time of Muhammad, yes, there were examples all around the world of that happening. Is that the best we can do for that nine-year-old? And yeah. as a Christian, I don't believe it is. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the example of Mary, I've heard this and maybe this will come up, no, that she, she was the age of 12. Well, there's oh. even other, other verses. Yeah, I think in the book of Deuteronomy or Numbers, I can't remember. Okay, yeah. when it tells you when you go to war. But I think you yeah. misunderstood okay, my yeah, point. Okay, no, yeah, yeah please do. Yeah, okay, please I totally misunderstood my point because yeah. what you're doing is... It's, it's, yeah, it's I want to understand. Because okay. what you're doing is you're looking at your nine-year-old today. And you're saying, if I went and picked my, in my primary school, a nine-year-old, but that defeats my whole argument, because I know, what, what was, listen carefully. Yeah, yeah, I want to. I'm saying the following. At the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, till today, yes. when the Prophet, peace be upon him, married the age at six and consummated at nine, yes. what we're saying, listen, please listen carefully, yeah? Yeah. what we're saying is the following. That example of the Prophet waiting three years, the Prophet wasn't like, oh, I can't, I have to control myself. No, the Prophet Sallam was a man who's a prophet. Yeah, it's not like he was like, because today we, we have pornography. We are, we are so sexually yeah. in, in our minds. It's like someone like, for example, if I was we a agree, thief, we agree. if I was a thief, yes. and if you said to me, Ali, can you look after this? Yeah, yeah. I'll be thinking to my, no, no. If I was a thief and I said to you, uh, what's your name? Sorry, Colin, Colin, yeah. If I said, Colin, can you look after my phone? Yep. I would never say that. You know what? Because I'm a thief and I'll think everyone's a thief like me. So because we have this, I'm not saying you, I'm not generalizing. No, 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 no. I'm saying because we have a perverted understanding, even today, when you look at a woman, let me yeah. tell you something. Most men look at them as sexualized objects because of how we've been conditioned. Yeah. So just because we have this perverted <laughs> thought process, we can't come and apply it to everyone and be like, oh, this person must have been a paedophile. So my argument is the following. When the Prophet Peter was married uh, uh, Aisha at six and consummated at nine, that is a lesson for us. We can't take the numbers here because what you're doing is you're saying, Ali, is the number six and nine. I'm saying, I never said that. The numbers okay. are the following. We learn a lesson from that, that the girl or the boy, by the way, okay. has to reach the age of puberty. Now, when we bring that to today's time, what is the age of uh, puberty? When does one become an adult to our standard? 12-ish, 12, 12 adolescents. No, 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 16. 
Yeah. Adults 16. Oh, you mean given the responsibilities? Yeah, 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 yeah. France 15. Yeah. Yeah. France 15. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you treating an elder? What? No. Who did that? Oh, no. The Religion of Peace, ladies and gentlemen. Who did that? Oh, dear. What a joke that guy is, bro. What happened? What happened? Not as if. You are, bro. Uh, Asif, you alright? Yo, what a fucking clown, what a clown, I'm gonna swear, but what a clown, bro, you alright? That's it, huh? I worry for you, I, I keep safe, please God, on the Feast of Pentecost, that the Holy Spirit will look after you, Asif, yeah. yeah. So Colin, do a little, like, um, Summary, what well, no, wait till Ali, wait till Ali comes back, yeah. I'll be quiet, yeah. shut up. I'm always going to be quiet, shut up. Why are you coming to me? I can show you your fucking a demon I'll and a terrorist. But I'll slap you till you back to the heart, bro. Can we, can we, no, please, 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 Anyways, Colin, oh, yeah. my point is the Fine. following, yeah? Yep. I'm saying, when I give you the numbers of six and nine, don't carry that to today's time, because I'm saying we're learning a lesson from that. The prophet waited three years. Why? To tell us that a girl has to reach the age of puberty. We bring that to the 14th century, uh, the 21st right. century. That teaches me the following. What is British law? What does British law say? That a girl is an adult at the age of 16. Yes. As Muslims, we have to obey the law of the land because we live in this land. Number one, yeah? We obey the law of the land, yeah? Yep. So, if today's age, the age of uh, a woman becoming an adult is 16, is 17, is 18, from the prophetic tradition, it goes hand to hand. So I'm not contradicting myself. So okay. if I want to marry a girl and I'm 21 years old and she's 14, the prophetic tradition teaches me you have to wait till she becomes an adult because right. the prophet waited for Aisha to become an adult. Right. So I have to wait for her to become 16. There's no nine if the year old age adult. is 18, yeah, yeah, 18. Yeah. No, so Does that make clear? Sure. So that's why when you give the comparison yeah. of a nine year old, you're yeah. misunderstanding my argument. Yeah. Because yeah. nobody's saying here that Muslims have to marry a nine year old. If you ask me, would I allow my nine year old? Do to get married? No, yes. this doesn't contradict the prophetic tradition. Okay, yeah, Ali, no, thank, thank you for that clarification. I, I think, I think what, what changes things is, is perhaps that. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, for Muhammad is the exemplar for all mankind. So I appreciate the things that you've, you've just said, but I, I, I still think from a Christian perspective that. I can't hear your friend. Look, your Christian the, is trying to speak. Yeah, yeah. The, the, okay, why, why, why ignore it. Right. Listen, listen. Once I finish this, yeah. when I finish this, I'm going to shake you. See, I'm going to shake you. See, 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 look. See, see Ali, Ali, look. Can, can, can we just, let's just focus on this. Okay, you, you, I can see that the position that you hold, you'll be able to maintain. However, there are many people, let's say I'm a Muslim. No, I'm just, Islam. oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I understand that. I understand that. So I've got five daughters. Okay. I've got my back to you, bro. No, we went a Quran verse. I got, I got my back to you. Um, okay, we right. Verse, yeah. I mean, it, regardless of the things that you've said, and I and I and I heard them, I tried to listen to them attentively. Okay. Still, when it comes to the the, the the sexualization of children discussion that we had, and the reason that we felt that it was morally wrong to prematurely sexualize children. Was because they were below the age of responsibility and we shouldn't be turning them into adults when they're still children. This is effectively what we agreed on. And, and, and this is why when it comes to not having an age of consent and and an exemplar who consummate the marriage at nine. As, 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 hey, as a, brothers, this is speaker's call up. Please, look, 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 look. You are look, no, no, everybody, everybody, look. We're having, we're having a great conversation. We're having a great conversation. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. We don't. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, fella. Come on. Stop. Who wants to hear the discussion? Who wants to hear the discussion? You are all powerful. Calm down. Come on. Go away. Go do something else. Go talk to my mom and teacher. Go talk to my mom and teacher. Go away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Look. My bro. Come on. Come on. You. Hey. Captain. You come over this side. You come over this side. You come over this. You come over this. Side. Honestly, you're just you, talking at this no, point. Bro. No, look, 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 look. look. No, 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 no. No, no. 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 Captain, captain, captain. Go, hey, go stand with John. No, 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 no. Brother, brother, brother. Brother, brother. None of us are representing our religions here. Ali, how are we gonna, how are we gonna? Captain, captain. 
supported by Captain, Captain, Captain. Go with John. Go, go with John. Go with John now. Come on, we're having a conversation. John, John, John. John. Did everyone? What I said, did everyone notice that when I start giving logical answers, he starts barking? What logical answers? What logical answers? Where was the logical answers? Look, look, I see look, look, he started insulting the Prophet when Colin, oh, when I was talking about Abu Bakr, he thought, ah, this doesn't sound good. good. I know, I'll insult the Prophet. No, 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 there Captain, is nothing oi, justifiable Captain. about raping a no, nine-year-old no. girl. Captain, you can threaten me all you want. You can threaten me all you want. Listen. It doesn't matter. No, 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 look, I'm a coward look, right look, here. Coward, you want to go? Effectively, you my friend, coward, my friend, my brother, I'm, I'm effectively, brother, brother, stop it, stop it, no, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, can, can you listen to me, please, okay, look, please, please, please. look at me, look, 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 look at me, look, effectively, I'm trying to, please, 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 Deus Bo, Deus Bo, Deus Bo, brother, brother, I'm effect, look at me now, I'm effectively trying to discuss this and come to the same conclusions, will you let me, will you let me, no, no, no. I, These guys are attacking me. I'm These guys trying. saying they're to slap me intellectually. They're saying they're going to slap me for real. I don't know what's going on, bro. I'm going to be honest. You're gay. You're gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Fellas, me and Ali are trying to have a conversation. Look, let the passions go down. Let the passions go down. The passions go down. The passions go down. You know what? Can I, can I say something to Ali in a month? Ali, we've attempted to discuss one of the most you know what Ali Ali me and you should never have discussed this to public realm we shouldn't have done it I know because this is I, I wanted to discuss your mates Ali your mates I don't want to take any more your mates right Colin look I, I, um, I don't know what to say let's clarify this no let's move from here no you follow us you follow us yeah let's move from here so guys you make something clear yeah we was having a peaceful discussion until he started insulting the prophet if I'm here insulting Jesus and provoking Christians that's wrong I mean you're listen to your brother this is a good Muslim brother right here you lot need to behave better this is a good Muslim brother right here I rate yeah. this brother. I don't blame so you. Yeah. The prophet. Yeah. And you know what? Me and you engage in probably the most delicate discussion that a Christian and Muslim can have. Okay? And we wanted to explore it. And even if we disagreed, well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fellas, oi. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, peace, peace. peace, peace, peace. Yeah, I shall do. I shall do. Look, look. Don't get triggered. Don't be triggered by it. Don't be triggered. Yeah. I want to do. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oi. Go easy, go easy, go easy. It's brother. not me, guys. Come on. Did, did, no, no, did no. any friends attack me just a minute? We're going to try and we're going to try and win the <laughs> argument. I don't want. I don't need. We don't. Need, we, don't we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. This is a place for this. No, 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 no. Hey, no, no hitting. No, 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 no hitting. Run, run. You come with me. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, fella. Let's go, fella. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Come on, come on. You come with me, fella. Come on, come on. You come with me. We'll go. Come on. Don't be protecting, mate. Let's go by the fence. Let's go by the fence. Don't go. Fence, Ali. Come on, come on. I have a okay, Ali. Sorry, so we were left off. Sorry. <laughs> right, right. I, I think I was trying to understand what you said, yes. and I was just going to make a very brief response and then let you you take over there because that's how a conversation goes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now. Despite what Ali said, and I know that he sincerely believes this, and this is his, his heartfelt position, me still as a Christian, I think it is a good thing for society to afford a young girl as much time as we can to mature and to, so let's say if the minimum age was nine, and there may be in history some times where a nine-year-old is, I mean, I'm not trying to justify it, but, but but, but what I'm trying to say is the growth of a girl having, have, having got five daughters from 9 to 12, from 12 to 13 to 12 to 14 to 12 to 16, for me, seems the best practice to afford a young girl as much time as we can to reach maturity of mind and body. And much as I, I can understand from what you're, you're saying, that you would 
with your daughter. How old's your daughter? My daughter's four. Your daughter's four. That you w you're not bound to marry her off to anybody at nine. I understand that. No, and doesn't call for that. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. No. 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 But but I'm saying I'm putting myself in a position where I'm not Ali. I've got five daughters. Yep. Okay. Maybe I'm living in Somalia on a poor farm. I can barely afford to feed them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now within my system, my religion, yeah. I would be able to say. You take this one, you take this one, because I can't afford to feed them. Now, no, 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 but no, it's not, it's okay. not, it's not, it's not, it's not it's from that. You know, okay. it's not, even there's Hadith, I think, yeah. it says that, you know, if you feel, uh, uh, they were, in the Arabian Peninsula, they were killing girls for a couple of reasons, yeah? One of them may have been that because they couldn't look after them. And yeah. Allah says in the Quran from the Sacred Shaykh that Allah is the one that provides. So do not uh, kill your daughters out of poverty. Okay, yeah. so, so what we're saying is, what you just said, Islam is hand to hand. Because Islam doesn't say, once again, the prophetic tradition teaches us the fact that the Prophet waited three years, we implement that across board. So what we do is, like you said, my daughter, I'll give my example to my daughter. My daughter, she grows, she becomes 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm not going to go to my daughter and say, even though at the age of 16, in this country, they're allowed to have boyfriends, and they have it before, yeah. they're allowed to have boyfriends and have sex. I would say to my daughter that at the age of 16, I would say, look, are you ready to get married? Because we've been married, we're not doing it yet. Yeah. If I say yeah. that, you know what? She's yeah, not, she's we don't do dating, dating, we do marriage to sermon. Exactly. Yeah. So, that's kind of yeah, yeah, so if we're talking about marriage, I would come to my daughter and say, Actually, she's actually going to be much more immature. She's immature. Not only this she is your 16 year old. No, no, imagine my daughter's 16 years old. Yeah. So, I hope that clarifies that at the age of 16, I would say you're still immature. Islam doesn't say to me, she has to get married. She can come to dad, I want to work. Okay. I want to go to uni. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. At the age of 18, yeah. 19, yeah. I can come and say, if you want to get sure. married, sure. 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 I need to go. Yeah, but yeah. Could I just say one last, one last thing, right? I mean, Maybe me and you can have a one-to-one -one conversation yeah, on this yeah, without yeah, yeah. the cameras. Yes. But I still, as, 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 a, as a Christian, yeah. would, and as, as, as a person in a position of authority yeah. and power over my family and my daughters, I would still, I still balk at the idea that it would be acceptable within my faith tradition for you to marry my nine-year-old daughter because if she stood there no, that, that doesn't no. exist. Okay, it doesn't okay. exist but it, it would be acceptable it's not acceptable tell me uh, now hang on uh, let me say something yeah can go I, on can I, can I, can I yeah please do yeah so in order to clarify this thing please do which standard that we should use shall we use your own standard or which standard do you need to use okay. now we are saying you said according to your own standard yeah you mentioned i would not do this to my daughter so you don't accept this oh. To anyone else's daughter, basically, mm -hmm. yeah, according to your standard. My issue is, yes. we cannot implement your standard everywhere in the in the world. That's your own standard. My point is, you you could say, you could argue, yeah, you could argue like other people argue. You could say that this is this is the standard. Everyone they will not give their daughters nine years old. This is the this is the time and age. The people they will not accept this. Right. But if you go back in the history. It was the norm for the people to get married at that age. I understand. For example, Mary, according to your own scripture, she was married when she was at the age of 12. Yes. No. Now here we could say, but 12 is more than 9. But what standard here? That's why we need to know that there is, in Islam, there is something, a factor in Islam that plays a big role in Islam, which is called Urf, meaning the natural or the, the, the habits of the people or the tradition of the people plays a big role in terms of legislation in Islam, meaning Right, the people, okay. For example, Islam did not give limit for the, 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 the age of consent. The age of consent. They said at the age when they are when they reach the age of puberty, maturity. Yeah. yeah the age yeah. of puberty, which is maturity for them, now is up to them. But here in Islam as well, give the standard of the urf, which is okay, the, the habits yeah, of the yeah. people. Yeah. Now, and according to the habits okay. of the people of, for example, my country now, the age of consent they believe around 16 or, or 17 years old. Okay. In Jordan. Right. In is that good? Do you think that's one better? Second, one second. Uh, it's, no, allow again, me to respond. Cannot, yeah, I'm just giving you kind of... Yeah, yeah, no, please do, please do, yeah. My own grandmother, my own grandmother, the mother of my father, she was married to my grandfather when she was 10. And then when I asked her, how did you marry at that age? She said, all the, all my all my other, you know, friends, all of them, they got married before me. And I was one of the one who delayed, wasn't married at that point. So she delayed from nine till... No, not nine. It was, it was in, in the same, same year or around that same. year that nine. most of her friends were married. Yeah, yeah. And then she was... She was sure. she was feared that she was being left left behind. Oh right, at the age of ten. At the age of ten, okay. and then she gave birth to my father when she was eleven. She literally 
she literally she and she had my father when she was 11 and the difference age between herself and my father was 11 years literally 11, 11 yeah. years See, when See, you go to ask my grandfather was already 16 or 17 when he married her okay 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 then i asked her how did you manage the question is i told her how did you manage you are girl and at that age how did you manage to do that she said for me when i married your grandfather it was less burden on me than the work and the amount of work which I was doing in her okay. own father's house. Okay, she was okay. doing much more and okay. has more responsibility right. you know, on the... On the uh, could, on I, could I respond? No, I appreciate what you've said there. My, my response to the words that you've just said kind of convict me more that much as I hear your justification, I can hear it, and you, you, you've given it in detail, that it is a better practice for society to afford a young woman, a young girl, as much time as we can for her to not just occasionally meet Rutoji, but there to set the bar. So that even those who are slow or some are fast, they all get over this bar, and this is what happens in Britain especially, the age of 16. Okay, so so when you said that your your mother, when she was 10, yeah, your grandmother, felt that she was a bit left behind because some of her other ones are at the age of nine, having had five nine-year-olds, unless your mother was something exceptional, and she could have been, I know that the capacity for consent for my nine-year-old girls to have sex with an adult man hasn't developed, nor had their bodies developed. Yeah, this is the and time and age. For, for sure. But, but what we're saying, can I just finish? This is the most important yeah. thing. But within Islam, say if I was a Muslim now, and I said to you that my daughters are married now and they're nine, you would finish. have no problem. No, I would have a problem. Oh, how about so? That's my point. I told you yeah. the habits and the custom of the people plays a big role in the ruling of Islam. We don't have one standard that goes everywhere. For example, in the, in, the, in the Arab Peninsula, the girls, they grow up more in the, in the heat because of the hot weather, etc. They grow up more than the okay. people who are living in Syria and these areas. Yeah? Okay, they yes, they yes. grow quicker, yeah? yeah. in a way. So which means the age of adulthood reach there before the other age. So that's why Islam plays when Allah, Allah said in the Quran that وَأَمُرْ بِالْعُرْفِ مِنْ كُمَانْ with the habits of the people. It means the habits of the people plays a factor in Islam. Sure, yeah. sure. And that's okay. why when you say to me, I, I myself, I have 12 years old daughter now. Yeah. She is totally unable to be, to be responsible for a house because the standard that we are living nowadays sure. is different than the standard yeah. we lived 100 years ago. Yeah. Can I ask now, you a quick question? But you determine that she isn't of no, a, a maturity. The, 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 the habit, the, the custom and the habit of the people around the, around the society, around okay. that, it give, plays a big role. That's, that's my point. Which I was yeah, I, I, can un, I can understand So that. that's why yeah. when I say, when I wanted to, give, to, to, to offer her for marriage, that's, that's an oppression now for me because yeah. now she is according to the standard that the people around us, all of them, that's not the standard where they get I, I can, under, I can understand it. But 100 so, years ago, yeah. the standard in certain areas were yeah. different. But would I be right? Yeah, would, I, yeah, would I be right? Seeing, seeing this is where me and, me and Ali were touching. That within Islam, correct me if I'm wrong, that the age of nine is no impediment if the family consider their daughter to be mature enough to, no, to consummate it. Not the family, society. It's not the decision of a family. Again, this is what I'm... Okay. The society, the society, customs of the society decides what is the right thing at that point. Could those customs be wrong? No, it, it, we cannot say, it, you, for example, it could be uh, what, what, one of the things which we need to understand. It cannot be like, oh, everyone is wrong except me, I'm the right one. Mm. It doesn't work like this. I understand. So that's I why understand. We, I understand. we as Muslims, we have to understand that well, there is something called that bringing to, to uh, we need to know to, to reduce the harm. Yeah. yeah, reduce the harm. I like that. Yeah. I like reducing that. Reducing the harm is more, is more emphasized in Islam than bringing benefits. Yeah. So if you yeah, have, I, I agree with you. you. Yeah. yeah. So we need to reduce the harm more than the benefits. Right. Yeah. Now, now, for example, let me give you another, another, another yeah. example. Yeah. 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 Can yeah, I just, so, you've just said something yeah. that I think we can yeah. agree on and then you can come back. Yeah, exactly. When you said reduce the harm, this is something that, that, that I think is the best practice in society is to raise the bar to reduce the harm. Because the exactly. lower the bar, the, the, the bar, the, there's according, greater chances according, of it to be... According to the standard now, in Islam, for example, yeah. it gives, when the, when the child reaches the age of puberty, is entitled to get married. That is, in, this is the standard. 
one now when we need to before we give the consent or, or approval right. we need to know what is the standard of the society now now the standard of the society is, is changed now now there is more there is less responsibility from the children nowadays that's why they are not they are not getting their mature their mind you might find even you nowadays here you yes. might find boys and girls who are 18 years old but they are not even mature enough to open a house or to be responsible for anything sure, for, sure. for their own deeds let alone to be responsible on a family yes where at the time of the prophet peace be upon him there is a 16 years old boy who was the leader of an army okay he was 16 years old so the right. prophet peace be upon him, he appointed him so it was known for the people when that, that person he was in a state of mind that he was able to leave. Right. But now here. Whoa, so Daisy, whoa, whoa, juggle them plates. Whoa. The wind. Yeah. That's the wind, the wind is strong. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know. So is it, is it shake, yeah? yeah? Shake. I mean, maybe maybe we'll, we'll wrap it up for now. But, but. Yeah. Look, I, 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 as, as a Christian, it, this, is, this, is, this is still the position that I, I would hold, right, is that I still feel that the collective society, as you said, it is better practice for a girl to be given as much time as possible to mature, because as you say, the lower you lower the bar, the more harm potentially can yeah, be yeah, done. That, that's, that's that's, are we agreed on, are we agreed on we, that? We agree, we agree, we need to understand again. What I'm saying, what I'm trying to, to repeat again. To you. Yes. So Islam, firstly, just give a simple thing. Yeah. When the when, when the child reaches the age of is adult, is responsible for his deed or her deed. Now is able to open a house if they want to open a house. That is the day. That's the time when they reach the age of puberty. As simple as that. This is the standard. Yeah. Now, what plays role now here? The education system, the 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 the, 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 the needs of the society. All of these things, as well, has factors which mm. plays factor in the upbringing of the children. Yeah. So that's why when I'm when talking about hundred years ago. When I, when I was talking to my grandmother, she was mature enough to be responsible for on a baby where my grandfather has to go and work and be absent for okay. such and such amount of time. And she was okay. able to take care of her own house right. and, to, be, and to, to, uh, to, to deal with the field and to sure. farm and do all of these sure. things. And, and to ten. take uh, at the age of 10, she was able, she was, okay. Okay. She was in a mindset able right. to do that. Okay. The yeah. issue is yeah. we are I, feeding I, our children different type of education nowadays and this education in a way make them less mature when even when they reach the age of puberty yeah, yeah. and i will tell you something maybe after one maybe after 50 or, or 50 years after all this social media and all of this all yes. this equipment now the standard is going to change and i assume in the future they're going to be the age of opening a house or to start a family 25 or 30 and then another person will come and will say we need to increase the standard because now okay. people they are not mature enough okay. to do that you know it's funny you should say that one of my daughters she started menstruation at i think eight right now she the fact that she started menstruation at eight yeah. didn't mean that she was mature enough to have sexual intercourse physically this is, is it so you have you have menstruation you have maturity in the mind and you have maturity in the body now all of those factors should be given the time to ripen to the point that it's best for the daughter as opposed to having no bar yeah, I, I, so I, I, for I, me I, for me as a christian I, i'm happy that we afford the weaker sex more time to mature and come to a conscious decision of what uh, they're doing. This is the way I feel. It wasn't, this, is, this is something that's an intro, introduced to the, to the Christian, which was in there. Yeah. Uh, where Mary was, was married at the age of 12. Will you offer your daughter to be married at the age of 12? Right. Well, you know what, that, I actually read that, that piece. The, the, that, that comes from the Catholic Encyclopedia. It's an apocryphal account of Mary. It doesn't mention Mary, but what it does say, that's how the Jews, they had a, no, they, no, they, no, there's a, so it was 12, 12 and a half. They, were, they could be married at 11 and a half. They had a year's wait and then 12 and a half, they could come. So it then, but I think it's better. I mean, we could look back in time a whole load of practices and, and call to those. Again, we cannot use your own standard to generalize it everywhere. No, my, my standard would be as a father who has daughters. Your, that's uh, all. Uh, that's no, forget the world standard. You. The world standard the day, is not good. Aisha, uh, her yeah. father offered her to two different people before the Prophet, which means he was he was looking for a husband for her. Yeah, the father. Another, was. The father. Yeah. And as well, she was at the age of consent that she accepted. And if she felt regret or something, she had the chance, even she, the Prophet Peace died, and she lived life after him. 
Okay. She was entitled to say, you know, I was wrong, it shouldn't be done. She never regret. In fact, she was always talking about that too. She, she lived a very happy life with the Prophet. So the point is, mm -hmm. so we, we cannot, you cannot decide on her behalf. Even when she was mature and she died later on at the age of 60 or whatever. Right, yes. She was always happy about the time that she spent with the Prophet, peace be upon him. Which means she never saw it as an oppression <coughs> or taking her rights. Or, or, or for example, uh, you know, uh, 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 forcing her to do something that she did. True, true. Do you true. get it? Yeah, I, I, so I get she, it. She had the chance. Yes. Well, she had the chance to say. For sure. But, she, but we could also ask lots of married women, do you wish you'd got married at nine? And I think nearly all of them would say, no, I would have never been mature enough to make that decision. Ask, ask, so we can, we can ask, cross, you know. You ask your wife, she said, would you, uh, at the would age you, you have wished have, you'd have married me said, at no, nine? I wish I, I stayed until 30. Uh, so, so she said, so I again, wish I never married you. I don't care. But, 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 but that's true. I, I think when you're, when you're young and you get married and you look back at it and it's worked well, of course you'll say it's good. But likewise, if you're old and you say, it would you have? It depends. Okay. My grandmother, she was happy. And right, she, yeah. she said. We're not, I'm pleased that your grandmother was happy. But I still from from my own point of view and the Christian it's point not of just view only her. I'm talking about the generation okay and I'm talking okay. about not a generation of an area it's not one it wasn't an one-off thing sure it was sure. the norm okay. it was something known okay. which is even to them to criticize it in yeah. the society well you know what Sheikh this is I'm gonna walk away from this discussion it's been good to have this discussion because this is the the nuclear discussion in this park yeah. okay now I still have this image of a 50 two-year-old man and his nine-year-old wife and have had a discussion of the premature sexualization. Are you threatening me? No. Are you threatening me? No, no, no. Are you threatening me? I Come, think, listen, listen, we'll world. leave the conversation now. You take your, your bugs back. And I, uh, I was hoping to have, and we did, we, we had a discussion on it and please God, everything will have gone all right there. Way. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Please, thank you. Please, please, please be with you. you. Yeah. But, uh, as, God bless and, you. And, and as a city, you know, just... When is this one of your, your peoples? I don't know. It's one of them. Yeah, I think this is... Could you, if you take that, okay. band for someone, come back and get it. Yeah, there you go. Anyway. Okay, Colin, yeah, would you like you to maybe give a fight? Wrap up words? Yeah. Go away, let me talk about it. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. I had a discussion with Ali about a year ago on the age of Ayesha. No, it wasn't on the, on the age of Ayesha. It was about the uh, premature sexualization of children. And uh, Ali brought up cuties and he brought up a variety of other things. And I thought, brilliant, you know, we're, we've, we're reaching uh, some, you know, concordance here where maybe we can act in a way to protect children from premature sexualization in schools and in the culture and things like that, because it's not good for young children to, to be groomed to, to a maturity that they're not. Anyway, um, after that uh, discussion, a few, a few um, Christian friends brought up to me that, sorry, that they felt that I shouldn't have even talk and talked to Ali on the basis that Ali um, had previously said that once his daughter reaches the age of menstruation or whatever, he'd have no problem with her marrying an adult man at the age of nine. And I thought about that and I thought, there seems to be a contradiction in a, uh, agreeing that premature sexualization is is wrong but then uh, those same people who would said we would have said were prematurely sexualized could actually have sex with an adult man at the same age that we were were saying it was wrong that the culture grooms them to to be sexual sex, sex, sexual people so we had a discussion today and I had this um, you know, and I hope it isn't too graphic, but sometimes it's good to put these pictures in front of you where an adult man is collecting his daughter from primary school. You know, let's say a 30, 40 year old man. I'm not saying they would be in the pushchair, but um, for a society to condone that relationship really caused me a lot of interior pain because I've got five young daughters myself and I've seen how they grow and I've seen how they mature and when they're at the age of nine there is no way that they are physically mentally mature enough to consent to being married to a man and having sex at the age of nine and I I, I, I think me and Ali we start to have a conversation and then things kicked off but and I spoke to Sheikh and I, I let them both talk but I'm completely unmoved and I think the Christian practice of affording a young girl as much time as possible 
to fully mature in the mind and the body. And then we've got the age of 16 at the moment. And I would say from my own experience being a dad of five girls, that that's a good age. That's a good age. It's a good bar. And I think as the shape said, you lower the bar, you risk more harm. You higher the bar and, 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 and you give them more chance of, uh, of prospering. But I think to close it, if I'm wrong in saying that a girl should not be married at nine, at the age of nine and having sex with a man, on the day of judgment, I don't think God is going to go hard on me. However, if I was to say I think that my daughter should be able to have sex at the age of nine and I'm wrong, I think I'm going to be judged really harsh and probably go to fires of hell. So I just hope and pray that Ali, as a dad, and he'll see his daughter mature over the years, that he'll reflect maybe on the conversation that we've had and he will not see the Prophet Muhammad as the exemplar to be followed but rather he'll follow his heart and the spirit to guide him to do the best for his daughter and wait as long as he can to give her the maximum, raise the bar as high as he can so that when she enters into marriage that she's mature physically and mentally and give her a few more years even way beyond that but uh, unfortunately the whole of the conversation kind of petered out but anyway you know I'm, I'm unmoved I think as Christians we, we, we accept that we do develop in our understanding of the human condition and 16 is good and uh, look at the end of the day look I managed to have a chat with Ali and uh, you know God bless you it's the feast of Pentecost Holy Spirit come down on you guide you especially if your parents God bless take care thank you so much